Welcome to Curie Electronics. Today we are going to solve remaining 40 questions of the NRSC Israel Technician B Electronics question paper. The last video I made a mistake uh, that is which component stores energy in the form of electric field. Actually I have ticked inductor but that is wrong okay that is wrong sorry which component stores energy in the form of electric field electric field is capacitor I am not able to trick here so the answer is capacitor don't make mistake this inductor is always related to magnetic field so the electric field is related to capacitor so the answer is capacitor question number 4 41. Which of the following bulbs will have the least resistance? The brightness of a bulb related, related to its resistance. So, now if you connect it from, you know to do all these calculations. It's a logical, uh, logically we can calculate. So, if you have a 100 volt bulb, 100 volt 50 watt bulb, and 100 volt, 100 watt bulb in through which bulb more current has to flow definitely it is the 100 watt bulb 100 volt, 100 watt bulb also more current is flowing means this 100 volt, 100 watt bulb we should have least resistance ok, so this is the 100 volt, 100 watt is the answer also if you see we have 200 volt bulb and 100 volt bulb which will have the least resistance definitely 100 volt bulb why to get a particular amount of light we have to apply 200 volt then that particular bulb will have more resistance compared to 100 volt bulb I think logically you will get it I am not able to explain it clearly now Question number 42. Which method can be used for absolute measurement of resistance? That is the Wheatstone Bridge method. In the following circuit, if the current I1 is 1 amp, what is the voltage across point AB? What is the voltage across these two points? Okay. Now, point A and B. So, if you keep a multimeter between here and here, between A and B, what is the voltage drop? Now, if you to, uh, how do you find this? What is that I current, total current I we have to find out? What is the total current I? Now, I1 he has given, I1 is 1 amp. If I1 is 1 amp, based on the current division tool, immediately you can write what is what 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 is I2? I2 should be 2 times of I1. That becomes 2 amps. Is 2 amps. So I is going to be 3 amps. Current is totally flowing through this. Now what is the total resistance here? Is 5 ohm and 10 ohm are in parallel. Let's try to reduce it to 5 ohm. Now what is RT? R1, R2 that is 10 multiplied by 5 upon R1 plus R2 that is 5, 10 plus 5, 15. So what do you get? 50 upon 15. So what value you will get? 50 upon 15 you get 3.3 so 3.3 ohm is the resistance and what is the current flowing through 3 so 3.3 so what, what is the voltage so voltage equal to V equal to IR that is this 3 amps current is flowing through this 3.3 ohm plus 10 ohm so 
So V equal to I1 I3 multiplied by 13.3 amps. How much you will get? 13.3 multiplied by 3. You will get 39 volt. 39.9 volt you will get. So what is the answer? Answer is 40 volt is the answer. What I have done? I have found out what is the current I and what is the equivalent resistance connected between A and B. If that much current flow through this 13.3 ohm resistor, a single resistor, what is the voltage drop across it? Ohm's law. Then you will get 40 volt. Question number 44. In a AC circuit, if the value of inductance is 100 microhenry and of capacitance is 30 nanofarad, what is the frequency at which circuit oscillates? What you will do? We will apply 1 upon root pi, 1 upon 2 pi root LC formula and simplify it. Once you simplify, what is the answer? 1 upon 2 pi megahertz. This is the answer. Option D is the answer. Question number 45. In a super heterodyne receiver, if required IF frequency is 455 kilohertz and the input frequency is 1.1215 kilohertz, what should be the oscillator frequency? So we have two equations. Based on that, we can find out answer is option B is the right answer. The input impedance of an ideal op amp operational amplifier. Input impedance has to be very high, that means infinite. Ideal op amp, so infinity. In this figure, relationship between voltage V and current I is in accordance with Ohm's law. See here, I, what is Ohm's law? V is directly proportional to I. If you see here, in this graph, V is not directly proper. V is here, voltage is zero, but current is there. And this is the right graph. V is increasing linearly, current also increasing. So this is the right answer. Uh, option B. B is the, figure B is the right answer. A W number is used to used for representing what parameter of the wire. This is the uh, this is the American wire gauge, A W wire gauge. Uh, we uh, in India we use standard wire gauge. So in this by seeing this diagram, you should be able to relate what it is. It is used to measure the diameter of the wire. Photodiode converts. Photodiode it receives light and converts it into current, light to electrical current. In a circuit connected to 50 Hz AC mains supply, RMS value of voltage is 250 volt. Sorry, 240 volt. The impedance of the load is 1 kilo ohm. What is the peak value of the current? So I have just applied the uh, uh, formula and done the calculation. So 240 multiplied by root 2 milliamps. How this RMS2 conversion and all, I will put a video on the I button. If you have any doubt, please watch it. A test equipment which has the ability to produce either sine, square, triangular or sawtooth wave is called a function generator. All of you know, you might have used in lab. For an inductor, the ratio of its, its inductive reactance to resistance is called the quality factor, that is Q factor. Testing a good diode with an ohm meter should indicate low resistance when forward biased, high resistance when reverse biased, low resistance when forward biased. Option C is the right answer, that is high resistance when the reverse biased, no resistance when forward biased. Right. A DC current cannot pass through capacitor. 
in an op-amp the use of negative feedback negative feedback decreases the gain increases the stability what is the logic function whose output is zero only when all its inputs are one I am not giving the answer already I have mentioned the two table you yourself answer it how many bits are required to represent decimal number 256 this question a little bit you have to be careful see to with the 8 bit 8 bit we can represent from 0 to 255 so that we can't represent 256 so to, to represent 256 we need one more bit so that is 9 bits we required what is the highest count of a BCD counter binary color decimal so that is from 0 to 9 9 means in BCD is what 1 0 1 0 0 1 this is 9 so answer is option D is the right answer When a 7 segment LED display is driven, each segment draws 5 milliamps from the supply. What is the difference between the maximum and minimum current drawn for the numbers from 0 to 9? See, when minimum current will be drawn, this is for the I min. Minimum current will be drawn for number 1. Maximum current will be drawn for number 9. 9. All when all, not number 9, sorry, it's number 8. Number 8. When this is the I max. You know, for one segment, one segment means what? See, this is the one segment. Like these seven segments are there in the seven segment display. So, for one, for one segment, you need 5 milliamps. We need 5 milliamps. Not we, the display need 5 milliamps. And then you see, you can calculate what is the answer for the question and that is 25 milliamps which of the following is a valid IP address this is a valid IP address I have little doubt whether this is right or wrong this looks fine because see this is wrong these two are wrong only colon and what is the max value of last up to 123 is there uh, but this is the I think this is the right one if you find it wrong please comment it so that I'll update it so answer I have simplified given one local FM radio frequency is in which band you know what is the band of FM it's 88 megahertz to uh, 108 megahertz so what is the uh, frequency range it is a VHF very high frequency 30 to 300 megahertz range uh, so VHF VHF where is that D is the answer which device is used for connecting two different computer networks that is the router is used to connect to two different computer networks this shortcut key is used for copying selected text in MS Word. All of you know to copy what will press Ctrl C will press Ctrl C. Ctrl C. Answer of one is a seven bit microcontroller. Now you might you will study in IT already. Now you might have studied it. Transformer can be used for AC voltage step down. DC voltage no, or not DC, AC only it can step up or step down. CD ROM is which type of storage device? It is not flash, not magnetic, it's an optical storage device. How do we conclude it's an optical device? Because laser light is used to write into CD CD ROM. Which connector is widely used for connecting PC to internet? That is a RJ45 connector. What is the physical phenomenon which exploited for fiber optic communication? Total internal 
reflection. If a sine wave has a period of 1 millisecond, what is the frequency? Then it is 1 kilohertz. In a power supply regulator, what is meant by line regulation? That is the change in output voltage upon change in input voltage. Change in option A is the right answer. Change in output voltage upon change in input voltage. ROHS stands for most of the electrical electronics devices or equipment you will see this sticker, one sticker. There will be ROHS mentioned. It means a restriction of hazardous substances. Restriction of hazardous substances. Substances. In the below circuit, the diode is used 5 volt. What is the value of the current I in the main circuit? See, this is the current I here. Here, this is the current I. So this, this that is a, that is through the 5 kilo resistor. Now once this, if we connect to 5 volt signal diode, then what happens? What is this is also just like the on flow, current in flow when there is a potential difference. One end of the resistor is called 10 volt, another is connected to 5 volt. So then we have, what is B? We have to take the difference between these two. So 5 upon 5 kilo ohm. So we will get 1 milli amps of current. Normally for good soldering, the percentage of tin to lead should be, you know, generally what we study, uh, that is 60 is to 40. But in space grade and uh, space grade, they use 63 is to 37. So option A is the right answer. What are the main commands of a UPS? UPS should have battery and there has to be an inverter. Inverter is a must for a UPS. So here we have inverter in this option, a rectifier and inverter. To charge the battery, we need a rectifier. Then DC we have to convert to AC. For that we need inverter. When light falls on LDR, its resistance, all of you have done the experiment in your lab and you know this. What happens? Decreases. When light falls on LDR, its resistance decreases. For a 20 ohm resistor to withstand 10 volt across its terminals, what should be its power rating? I have calculated here, it's 4 watt should be the minimum power rating. For a 100 ohm resistor, the tolerance color is gold. What, then, what is the range of resistance value expected of the resistor? The answer is 95 to 105. It's a 100 ohm and the gold, is, gold tolerance is plus or minus 5%. And finding 5% of 100 is very easy. We can add and subtract 5%. So it is 90, 95 to 105. Which of the following memory scan return is contains upon removal of power supply? Static dynamic RAM. This is the answer. Because dynasty storage, flash, EEPROM are all are non-volatile memories. 741 is a part number of all of you should know that's op amp. So we have completed the remaining uh, 40 questions. Uh, I like to take a class uh, uh, for this uh, before this NRC and I think URC also. They are preparing for the next batch of recruitment. I'm not able to find uh, uh, time. Um, to conduct the class. So I hope I am planning. Somehow I will try to accommodate a 30 session class. Uh, so let's see. So if you like these videos, please share with your friends and also please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.